Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we've got a new Beretta pistol, and it's been a while since we have said that out loud on this channel. So I am very excited to bring you this new Beretta pistol. It is an APX A1 9x19, so it's a 9mm. This is the tactical version, APX A1 full tactical 9mm ODG 321 round magazines? in the state of Oregon. That's right, we got them before any law changes happened. We are really excited about that to bring you this product. Here's what it looks like from the top going down. There's the pistol. There are three 21 round mags there. There's some interchangeable back straps there and a lock. So that's your unboxing. Let's see, you do get some cleaning products, clean your weapon with and your registration cards, owner manual, stuff like that. So let's take a look at this thing. It is freaking cool. I mean, I don't think there's any way to say that it isn't. It's very cool. I don't know how it shoots. I have an original uh, that goes back a long time that I bought years and years ago. Did a couple videos on it, I think, and then it's been in the safe, you know, pretty much ever since. But this is much cooler than that original, obviously. So I love the color of the frame here. This dark green is very tactical, but it's also very cool, probably especially to people that have been in the service before. Maybe that's why I love it so much, because we were all green in the Marine Corps. So check that out. That's how it hangs at the bottom of the grip for those 21 rounds. So yes, it is a tactical version, probably not too great for carry, but I think you can probably put the regular magazine in here and carry it that way if you want to. The count on the magazine goes to 17, but it's capable of 21 rounds with this piece on the bottom. And like I said, you get three of them. So nothing to you know, complain about there. And it's pretty amazing when you consider that you get the three mags plus this very tactical pistol from Beretta that's capable of putting a silencer on it or a suppressor on it if you want to. Wow, it's very well built. I looked it over, I didn't see anything wrong cosmetically with it. You know, it's your frame that's made of polymer, high strength plastic, if you will. I mean, there's very little give to the frame of the pistol, even where the magazine goes in. The texturing on this right here is pretty nice. It's got blacked out and raised sights. So if you want to use your suppressor, hopefully you can still see your sights. Good enough to use them anyway. Very tactical, all black. Recently getting comments that people, some people are just not liking night sights on their pistols anyway. So I really hadn't heard that much until recently. So maybe that's a new thing. All right, I'm gonna wipe it down real quick and we'll be right back. Okay guys, let's talk about this pistol a little bit more. It is flat on top and it is set up for an optic right here. If you wanna add an optic, go ahead and do so. Here is the side profile. It is gorgeous. I love the way that the serrations are cut into the slide here. They are kind of aggressive, guys. I don't think it's anything that, no. It's nothing you're gonna cut yourself on, but you definitely get some real purchasing power or hand strength into those serrations. So that way you can just reach up there and rack the hell out of this thing, right? This is a tactical go-to-war type pistol, roughly about the size of your Glock 17. If you're looking for something to compare it to, this APX tactical seems to bring a lot to the table. So it's got a slide catch on both sides for righties and for lefties. If you wanna do it from the right, you can. If you wanna do it from the left, you can. If you wanna go over top, you can. Whatever way you like to run your gun. It also has a three-piece pick rail right here. So you've got that. Your trigger area is enlarged if you want to use it with gloves or anything like that. As far as releasing the magazines, it doesn't shoot them out because these are heavy mags. So it, it, it does clear it enough to be able to get it out of there. But also the way this thing is cut is going to be advantageous to you too. Look at the way that this is formed right here where the magazine is. It kind of gives you a lip to reach up and grab a hold of and pull that magazine out and then shoving it back in, right? Grab it and out she goes. So I kind of like that lip right there. It's very tactical and very useful on a 21 round magazine. The back looks pretty good. It's got some serrations back here. I don't know if that really matters, but it's there. It's got a nice rise to the pistol here to protect yourself from being injured as the slide is reciprocating back and forth. 
So that's cool. The girth of the grip is fantastic. Even though it's a large magazine, the grip is great. I feel like I'm in total control here. So that's good. Let's see, anything else? The front strap is done on the polymer. Give you a better grip as you're using it. All right, let's try the trigger. I messed with it a little bit. Let me first say, before I put it on a gauge here, try to get this in picture here. Look how wide the trigger is itself. Get the dingus out of the way. See how wide that trigger is? You can actually feel that when you're in there and putting your finger on the trigger itself. It's got a nice wide surface that you're manipulating. And it does give the feeling of it being a little bit more substantial and a feeling of quality. So just something to note. I actually did like that. So let's try it and see what we come up with as far as, let me guess first, right? I'm usually pretty good at this. Seven. A very good seven, but I'm thinking it's over five and a half. I think it's seven. Really good reset, guys. A little bit of sponginess after the reset, and then it just snaps. Very good combat trigger. Let's see if it's seven. 7.15. I swear to God, I did not test this and then give you that number first. This is after. 6.9. One more. 7.4. All right, so we'll call it seven. And it's a hell of a good seven. I can't wait to get this thing to the range. That is tremendous, guys. That is a very, very good trigger on a combat home defense type setup right here. You could set this thing up with your optical sight. You can put a light on it if you want. Run it however you want to. Knowing Beretta and Beretta's quality is usually pretty damn good, though I haven't shot this yet. You got 20, 21 rounds here, plus one in a pipe of hollow point ammunition, self-defense ammunition. This one is made in Italy as it is stamped right there. To me, I could not believe the price when I saw the price. And that may be the biggest surprise of them all. Let me look it up and make sure that I say it exactly correct. $549. MSRP on this pistol. If that doesn't interest you, then I think you need to uh, go back to the school of firearms because this is a tremendous value. If you can get this anywhere under MSRP of $549, it is an absolute steal. And I'm gonna close the video with that. I'm looking forward to the range day with you guys. Thank you for joining me on this video. The once over on the Beretta APX A1 full-size tactical pistol with three 21 round magazines. All for $540. Rush out and get one now or go ahead and order it. Um, the range review will be coming up shortly. So look for that range video on this gun. Very impressive for its price. Thanks for watching the video. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, the Beretta 9mm USA channel and the CZ 9mm USA channel. Those are our two gun channels. I'm not sure which one this particular review will be put on as we're putting reviews to both channels now. We're bringing in uh, two gun channels and we're, we're trying to get you at least one, if not two videos a week. So the channels are continuing to grow. I also run a little tool channel called the Legion of Tools. If you're interested in tools at all, please come over and join us on the Legion of Tools. That's it for this one, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video. Remember your second amendment is worth protecting and you be safe out there.